Hey friends, I am here with Joe Brand in front of his beautiful Vans RV12 IS. And I uh, thought we'd talk a little bit about that. Joe is uh, here for um, an oil change and to do an engine uh, service bulletin. And uh, But before we hauled the plane inside, uh, I thought we'd uh, talk a little bit about the airplane. So Joe, tell me about your plane. Okay, this is a Vans RV12 RV12. 912 IS as far as that goes. It's a 2020 model. Um, we brought it back from Aurora, Oregon a year ago this month. So the plane is a year old. Right now I have about 115 hours on so it, so I've definitely been flying it. It's a beautiful airplane, you know, Vans is, you know, and for uh, me getting into this airplane was I flew a few uh, light sports, you know, I don't, won't name the names that I flew, but, you know, we flew this one down in uh, Chesapeake Sport Pilot in Maryland. And we almost didn't buy it, you know, because even just looking at it, we thought it was a little bit too high to get in the plane and stuff for my wife and everything. And the woman down there got my wife into it and everything. And as it turns out, you know, the rest is history. And we flew it down there and they let me fly it. They let me bring it in, land the first time. She says, you want to try it? I said, yeah, I'll try it. No problems whatsoever. They said, oh, they were, you know, let's go out and do it one more time. We did it one more time. And then my wife went out after that and it wasn't a... Uh, what I actually wanted to do is, you know, I've been a rusty pilot, so I'm just mm -hmm. getting back into flying. So what did I wanted to do was get checked out in the plane first. Before we ordered one, I got checked out, didn't have any issues whatsoever, and we ordered a brand new airplane. Like I said, this is a 2020. We flew it back cross country, gets about four and a half gallons an hour. You know, it runs about 115 knots, 5350 RPM. You know, it's a nice flyer. It's really, really, really easy to fly flies well you know if it's a real windy day it's bouncy and everything like that but for the most part you know we like it there's no issues whatsoever and Vans has you know support that second to none you know yep. as, as you know of yeah Joe was here about a month ago and we were doing the um, the exhaust stack service bulletin um, and we weren't the only ones in the uh, US that were doing it and we no. we, uh, we kind of came across a problem with it um, we'll show it to you uh, when we have the uh, the engine off or the cowling off and uh, when the planes inside but uh, they had done a double slip joint and the thing was actually moving uh, when we were running the uh, the engine and it was beginning to hit a, uh, um, a coolant line and uh, so we knew we had a problem. We were communicating with them. There were other people communicating with the uh, guys there, Vans, and you could really see their support kick in. They were they were right there. They didn't leave us hanging at all, and uh, uh, advised us just to uh, inspect the uh, the original um, uh, stack and, and reinstall that. And now they've got the um, the replacement made up. So it was just kind of neat uh, to see their their support kick right in and. And really help and communicate really really well. It was nice. Yeah, and we we actually got the old uh, the old you know stack of uh, the old piece, and we have the new piece, so we should be able to compare what sure. the difference is. Show the, show you know, as far as that goes. But no, they say yeah. we should have no issues today. Everything should you know go smoothly. And you've got the dual G3X yeah. in here, uh, autopilot. The Garmin uh, G3X. There's dual panel here in this uh, G3X. This was this actually model here was. It's not an IFR model, but. It's it's the upgraded model, you know, that's why it's got the dual panels onto it, you know, as far as that goes. It's got the canopy cover up there as far as, you know, and it fits me like I was talking about before that, you know, I'm a six foot two guy, 225 pounds. My seat's all the way back, but it gives me plenty of plenty of room in the plane. I get about a two inch head clearance. My yes. wife's quite a bit shorter than I am. You can see her seat's up a little bit farther than ours and it fits her real well. Actually, like I said, originally we were almost weren't even going to look at this plane. We weren't even going to think about flying it or buying it. And my wife absolutely loves it too. That's one, one thing about you yeah, know, yeah. My, it. Yeah, it always helps. You got to have a partner that you know, wants to fly too. <laughs> sure, absolutely. One of the things I really like about this is the, uh, the paint scheme on it. It's just really, really sharp. I love the center uh, stripe, how it starts off silver and goes kind of into a dark charcoal in the back. That's really, uh, really well done. And just the, the deep blue uh, metallic. I, I wanted to do this initial video outside here in this, the, uh, the early March New York sunshine um, so that you can really see into the, um, the metallic and uh, just see how pretty this paint scheme yeah. is. And uh, originally the paint was going to be blue and white and it ended up being blue and silver because we actually picked this color but they found out that the silver weighs about five to six pounds lighter than the white, so we ended up switching to the silver because every pound That's counts in a light sport. Absolutely. So, and this here, this here paint scheme, we picked it out, but it's their most popular color. They put out 
I don't know how many planes in a row, but they all looked exactly the same. <laughs> they were wondering if they even made any other colors there for yeah. a while. So. Yep. Yep, it's really, really sharp. So I'll do a little walk around so you can see uh, uh, some of the detail of it all. But uh, and then we'll we'll haul the thing inside and uh, start doing the uh, the oil change and service bulletin. There we go. So we're, uh, we're working on that uh, Vans uh, service bulletin uh, 013 and uh, we're replacing this uh, forward number one cylinder um, exhaust uh, tube, the, the first uh, stack of the system. And this was the, um, the original change that they made and you can see it's a double jointed uh, or double slip jointed system. And uh, what they did is they re-engineered this, uh, this lower joint um, so that the angles are different, especially uh, uh, where the, um, uh, the springs clip on so that it won't be pulling it down in the direction of, uh, of that uh, radiator hose. So uh, we'll put it on and uh, see how it works. So we have uh, now replaced both of the uh, forward exhaust tubes. One for number two, and here's the one for number one.